wanted to get the audience, give the audience an opportunity to ask anything they wanted. Again, e uh, if you would like to email Dr. Reed, it's Dr. Reed. That's D R R E E D. Link L I N K at AOL.com. Dr. Reed Link at AOL.com. That's it. We'll be right back. I have a question about the lie detector test. Yes. I wondered uh, where you had the test taken, who took the test, and how that came about. I had that done through people that I have called the Alliance of Source. And it was done through a university criminology department. And I set that up myself. These new photos that we have of the link artifact. Yes. Where did you get this artifact? Well, at the time that I was at the site, and when I went to roll up the creature right. and hide it, I realized that about three feet away from its body, kind of buried a little bit under some ferns, was this shiny-looking object. It was, at the time, had some dirt across it. And I just reached down and picked it up. I thought it was something uh, maybe that a camper had left, or a, a, almost like a pop can, silver in color. Right. About the same size. And as soon as I got within, you know, uh, my hand within about two or three inches of it, I realized it wasn't a pop can. And I picked it up. You know, I, probably a, a real stupid thing to do, not knowing what it was. Potentially but, dangerous. But I was not thinking clearly. And I picked it up and I looked at it and I thought, okay. So I just threw it right inside the uh, thermal blanket, wrapped it up, and took it home. Now, one right. of the reasons that we previously didn't mention this was because I don't have that object. I do not any longer own or possess that. that what, ha is, what happened? Is that one of the things that was stolen from your house? No, it's not. It's one of the things that I took after all this happened, when this event was taking place and after I left my house in, in shambles. I had sent this away. This was something that I had literally nailed away to myself somewhere else. And I needed to get it looked at and get it verified, of course. which I have done. Um, what do you want me to begin? Well, I, I guess I would like to know what results. Of well, the results, I, I had it analyzed at a university in Osaka, Japan. Yes. And some of the people that helped me do this are the people that I call the Alliance, people that helped store me away and keep me safe for a long time. All um, right. So it went to Japan. They analyzed it? went to it? Japan with me. With you? Yes. With me. Oh, now that's new. I had not heard that. All right. So you went to Japan with the object? And I showed it to some very secure people in Japan. Ja the Japanese culture embraces the phenomena, the UFO technology phenomenon I understand, in a yes. totally different way than the people in the United States. I understand. Uh, so what did they conclude? They looked at it, they dissected it in analysis, and they found that it was made out of very unusual materials. It weighs 107.3 grams. That's three point seven five ounces. The photographs, Very light. The, the photographs never before seen on my website tonight are extremely clear. Those were taken in Japan. In Japan? Yes, while it was being analyzed. All right. I, I held this thing myself at one time, Art. You did? Yes, and it's amazing. All right, it's, a, it's, a, uh, it's impossible to describe. You've got to see it. It's got hieroglyphics, what appear to be hieroglyphics on it. Uh, has anybody analyzed uh, what th that could possibly mean? It looks very much like um, some objects purported to be from the Roswell crash. Well, it's, it's never been cataloged, any of those symbols, and uh, it has been looked at through many eyes, trying to understand if they have any earthly meanings. Nobody as of yet has come up with anything. 
other than, and this is kind of fascinating, there happens to be one of the symbols, which is the very small one, and I'm not sure if the picture you have shows that. There are actually four symbols. Yes, so I, one, have I have them. One small one that sits alone by itself is a very similar shape to the obelisk craft. That symbol has been found in Mexico, in Egypt, and in China. That symbol is very similar to the Ra symbol in the Egyptian hieroglyphs, which translates into many meanings. It means the letter R. It also means the, the meaning of an exit or an entrance or a communication from one point to another or a door or a door and we don't know if these symbols are, are words well we do know one thing that when that symbol which is a literally a button this thing is a controller of sorts of some kind yes when that symbol is pressed in the right sequence that piece of material that structure that looks silver and is hard like metal, I mean like iron, Yes. it closes. It becomes very, very pliable. Uh -huh. It closes with a memory as if it's going to close onto a surface of like your arm. And then you push that again and it opens back up with the same memory so that you could remove it. So then... Uh a speculation would be this was something the alien had been wearing. Yes. All right. All right. Why do you not any longer have this? What happened to it? Well, in dealing with the, uh, the people who have helped me, one of the biggest problems is having some kind of safety, some personal safety. And I was told that as long as I had this in my possession, I was in very, very serious danger. And they were right. So I gave it up. I said, store it. You know, analyze it, store it, and do whatever we have to to keep it safe. The materials that it's made out of are really unique. It's a radical mixture of a silicone polymers, beryllium aluminum, which is a unique substance in itself, manganese, magnesium, zinc, copper, Bismuth, gold, and other undetermined materials. 